New technology could turn houses into giant batteries. One of the most common building materials in the world can be turned into batteries. Scientists have developed a new and cheap way to store electricity in cement. According to the researchers, even such a house foundation prepared from a new material could hold enough energy to meet its daily needs. One of the biggest problems in the power industry is how to store the energy produced. Scientists are constantly looking for more and more efficient solutions. What if our homes were batteries? This concept was developed by scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT, and Harvard University in the U.S. The description and results of this research were published in the journal, The Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Scientists around the world have been working for years on creating building materials that would be able to store energy. But cement, the main component of concrete, is usually a poor electrical conductor. In recent years, Several research teams have created structural supercapacitors by enriching cement with highly conductive forms of carbon such as graphene or carbon nanotubes. While these work well, the ingredients needed to make them are expensive. In search of an alternative, researchers focused on soot which has been used by man as a black pigment since ancient times. It is formed as a result of incomplete combustion of materials with a significant carbon content. Importantly, cheap and common worldwide, carbon black is also highly conductive. The mixture created by American scientists consists of cement, water and soot. Man has been dealing with these materials for at least 2,000 years. Our material is fascinating because it is the most widely used man-made material in the world, which is cement that combines with soot. Another well-known historical material that was used to write the Dead Sea Scrolls, says Admir Masik, a materials scientist at MIT. These materials from at least 2,000 years ago, combined in a certain way, form a conductive nanocomposite, and that's when things get really interesting. He adds, the combination of these three components causes the soot particles to group in places emptied by water, which in turn is absorbed by the easily reacting cement. The soot clumps form long threads in the hardening cement that behave like electrical wires. Cement modified in this way becomes, in practice, a supercapacitor. Supercapacitors work in a similar way to a battery, but they have an important advantage over it. They are able to both store and release electricity faster. The researchers cut the prepared material into small plates 1 mm thick and 1 cm wide. After adding a membrane, an electrolyte made of potassium chloride, a salt, and water. The scientists sealed the structure. 
when they then connected the wire to the plates and flipped the switch, the cement supercapacitors worked. Currently, however, cement batteries are quite small and so far they are able to power only a few LED bulbs. The material itself, however, should be considered promising. Because the ingredients used to create it are cheap and widely available. Theoretically, it should also be possible to increase the size of such batteries. However, as supercapacitors get larger, their electrical conductivity tends to decrease. One solution is to simply add more carbon black to the mix, but not so much that it impairs the structural integrity of the cement. For structural concrete, the researchers noted that they could add up to 10% soot without compromising its strength. The researchers are now working to scale their invention to match the output of a 12-volt car battery. The newly developed material appears to be a very attractive technology. It could be used in the construction of house foundations, which has already been mentioned. Another possible application for such a supercapacitor could be placing it on roads. It could then power electric cars passing by via inductive charges. Anyway, such a solution is already being seriously considered and analyzed. Cement is also used to build shelters. Therefore, if a recently developed variant was used in their case, the objects created with its help could become completely energy self-sufficient. Anyway, we could imagine much more potential uses of cement, a supercapacity.